This is a walkthrough on a, one of our 1250 gallon monolithic tanks, which means it has a seam at the very top. And we have our logo here, as well as this same form makes a 1250 or a 1500 gallon. And we just mark it off uh, which one we're actually supplying. Because this one's shorter, it's a 1250 gallon mono, has three feet maximum burial and 300 pounds per square foot of live load it's designed for. So on this, we have three inlets and three outlets on our tank. This is a side inlet. Over here, we have an end inlet, and they're made for four inch uh, rubber boots. We use 5,000 PSI concrete in all of our precast products. Um, we use a Conceal Butyl Rubber. What you ideally want is a 50% uh, compression, and that's why it's cooling out a little bit, because it has that 50% reduction. Um, over here, we have our three outlets. As you can see, there's a three inch difference between our inlet and outlet. So you have pitch from the water going into the tank to leaving the tank. This is a four inch rubber boot. You pull it out and there's a stainless steel clamp that you clamp it to. You put your pipe in, you clamp it and it holds it tight. On this side, you can see is our end outlet and it's marked as well. So. Uh, all of our customers know where the inlet and outlet is on all of our tanks. Now this shows the top of our tank and because it's a single compartment tank it has two covers on top of it. One of them is the inlet and the other one is the outlet. And this particular one we have plastic riser and cover built into the top of the tank so you can bring it up to grade as a watertight connection. We have two handles so we can easily pick up the cover. And it has a taper to it. And you put it back down in. Nice and easy. On this side, we put a six inch riser on top of the tank. You screw it all down in. There's eight screw holes. You screw down each hole. And you put the uh, plastic cover back on top of it. You turn it and you screw these down as well. And it has handles so you can pull it up once it's in the ground. And that is one option we carry. We carry polylock risers and covers and built in. And you, this comes with or without plastic. In New England, uh, because we have extreme winter temperatures, uh, on, at our plant, before this goes out into stock, we drill a weep hole at the very bottom of the tank because concrete covers are not watertight, and if water seeps into this tank and freezes, it'll crack the bottom of the tank and uh, make it not watertight. So what we do is we drill a weep hole, so if any water gets inside of the tank, it leaks out, and then before we deliver this to a customer, we'll take water plug and we'll water plug this so it's nice and watertight. But because we are able to deliver this tank in one piece and we uh, keep it in stock in one piece, that's what we have to do is keep a weep hole until uh, it's going out uh, for delivery.